Hi guys, in this video I would like to provide you with a quick overview of how I need this top, uh, what pattern I used, what technique I used for the custom edge to make it wavy like that and uh, maybe you like it and uh, you would want to create something similar. Alright, so let's start with the yarn and the needle size. The needle size is 4. Um, the yarn I used is uh, Drops, uh, the yarn is by Drops Cotton Light. You can also use the yarn uh, by Gazelle, Baby Cotton XL or Organic Cotton um, because you would need to, to, um, to have a similar gauge. So the gauge is in a 10 by 10 swatch is um, 1.6 stitches and 20 rows okay uh, it's 10 by 10 centimeters okay so then uh, here the um, the top has 12 pattern repeats okay six six pattern repeats for the back and for the front and uh, so I was knitting it, I started from, so it's uh, in the round, the, the work that I did is in the round, then I was knitting it up to the um, underarms, which is two and a half pattern repeats, and here's the, the pattern actual repeat, it's from pearl to pearl stitch like that, okay, so it goes like that, like that, like that. And this is so this is one, two, three for each side, one, two, three for the right and for the left sides. Okay. And then after I divided the top four, I, I've reached the um the height that I wanted to because I didn't want to create a, a long top. Um I then put my back stitches on the side and was working the um, front only and uh, I further divided the front into two halves to work each half at a time and started decreasing stitches for the underarm and for the neckline at the same time and after I've cast on uh, I've cast off the stitches for the entire two patterns so here and here there is one pattern left here that I decided to uh, to knit like that to have a wider straps you can also continue to decrease the stitches to just have like nine stitches or ten or whatever number of stitches you prefer left to create narrower straps okay uh, then I put those stitches on the side and I move on to the other side where I was uh, casting off the stitches for the neckline and the underarm at the same time until I reached the exact same number of stitches which is the full pattern okay so the front and back are knit identically meaning that there is no um, change in you know the, the the number of decreased stitches the uh, the height for example so I put the stitches aside here and I did not uh, you know allow to drop the neckline lower and uh, leave the neckline uh, at the back sorry not the neckline the at, at the back stitches uh, a bit higher so I just did that for simplicity for the sake of simplicity okay so let's move on to showing how to do how to cast on the stitches it's a bit unusual cast on technique but it, it's very it, it works very well with patterns like that because it's it's very it gives a very original look so the very first thing that you would need to do is to create a loop and then you may want to consider uh, size, needle, needle size. I think I used like one, so I worked the top on the, uh, using the four millimeters needles. And then here you can take 4.5, so it's going to be easier for you. 
and it's not going to be that tight after you work the pattern so you create a loop and then you are going to be creating um, add a new uh, loops out of the same that you just created okay so you enter your needle into the loop like that and you create a new loop and you need to return this loop onto the right onto the left needle okay so you place it like that if you let it go you have to hold it a little bit because you may lose it in the process so but you need to create another loop out of that one so you also enter your needle like that and pick up the yarn tail and again place it on the left needle hold it and again and repeat like that you can also see it's just a bit the yarn is a bit tricky because it has very multiple threads in it so it's it's uh, easy to get tangled in it so what i like doing when working with this type of yarn is to hold this loop on both needles okay so hold here and here and create a new loop then place it back but don't let this needle go and create a new loop like that also pay close attention to the tension because it's essential after you're going to be creating a knitting a setup row or round okay One more time if you choose to return it to the needle just hold it in place get into it in that same loop again pick up the yarn and create a new loop also um, this cast on technique is very you know it has a tendency to roll you need to pay attention on how the loops are positioned especially when you join the work in the in the round and then simply uh, just like uh, with the regular classic cast on you technique to join the work in the round you would need to find the last loop on your um, on your needles on your left needle and slip it over the first one so you're gonna have a number of, of loops here to be able to join it in the round and slip it over the one over the first one you created in my case i'm going to because it's not in the round i'm going to just twist it like that to be able to work the setup row and then the setup row is just the neat stitches that i get into the next loop and pick up the yarn and pull it out and let this loop go like that get into the next one and create a knit stitch into the next one create a knit stitch next one create a knit stitch like that okay and work all the way in the round up to the last the last stitch and the last one was i think was this guy here and you're done okay again see i was just uh pulling the yarn too tight here so that's why you can see that the tension is not quite even and 
and uh, you need to really pay attention to to create an event tension and i think i also missed here another loop let's just go back yeah it is here so if that happens to you you simply go back return it to the left needle and knit it that's all all right that's how you cast on stitches to work the pattern that i'm going to show you in a minute all right so i had to um do two setup rows uh, to show you uh, the, the how to create the pattern how to start working and because i'm not working on the round and i need to start on the right side okay so here's the pattern itself we can just screenshot it okay i'm going to show you how to oh, just a second like that okay it's very simple yet it requires your attention okay so after the edge stitch or you know after you join the work in the round and place a beginning of row marker round marker you uh, after the marker you do a yarn over and then knit three that's the first row then you need to knit two together as a left leaning decrease uh yeah left leaning decrease then you knit again three then two together as a right leaning decrease so you turn your stitches like that and then another three and you finish with the yarn over and the purl stitch purl stitch is an indicator that you've done your first pattern repeat okay then you turn work and here on the wrong side there are all knit stitches except except for that purl stitch that you need as a purl stitch on the right side which is now is a knit stitch okay yarn overs and all purl stitches on the wrong side so and the edge stitch is a knit stitch if you have an edge stitch if you don't you simply return to the marker beginning of round marker second row the yarn over becomes a knit stitch then another yarn over then knit three then two together as a left leaning decrease then knit one and two together as a right leaning decrease another three a yarn over knit stitch and the purl stitch and the edge stitch is a knit stitch okay knit one and the rest is all purl stitches on the other side all right turn work row number five is knit two yarn over knit three and here we need to do three together as a right leaning decrease so we are going to turn the stitches 
facing your left needle, return them back and knit as three together like that. Not central, right leaning uh, decrease, okay? And then knit three, yarn over, knit two, and the purl stitch, and the edge stitch, okay? So you can already see that the pattern is forming. So first is a knit stitch on the wrong side and the rest are the purl stitches including the yarn overs and the edge stitch is a knit stitch if you have one. Row number seven is here five so five knit stitches one two three four five and then we need two together as a right line in the crease so we turn the stitches and the right line in the crease and then another three yarn over knit three purl one edge stitch and see how the edge already gets wavy like that So again, knit stitch, the rest are all the purl stitches. Row number nine is starts with four knit stitches one, two, three, four. Then a right linen decrease. We turn the stitches facing your left needle, knit them as two together, and then again knit three. yarn over and here one two three four knit stitches and the purl stitch and the edge stitch in my case row 10 same as all other wrong side rows You are simply knitting it in pattern. And now is row what? Row eleven. One two three knit stitches then a right linen decrease then knit three another yarn over and knit five one two three four five and per one. Okay. 
Okay. Wrong side, we need all stitches in pattern. Row 13, we start with the yarn over again. So we reverse the side here where there were three yarn overs here and here on the side were seven. Now we're gonna reverse the sequence. We're gonna need seven and three on this side, okay? So we start with the yarn over, then need three. And now we need to turn, it's a left leaning decrease. So we need the stitches as they are. Okay, and we need three. And right leaning decrease. Where we turn the stitches. And another three. The yarn over and the purl stitch. Okay. Row number 15 is a neat one, yarn over, neat three, left linen decrease, neat one, right linen decrease, neat three, Another yarn over, knit one, purl one. All right, I've already done the row on the wrong side. So now it's row 17, where I will begin with two knit stitches. One, two, yarn over, knit three, knit three together uh actually yeah knit three together is a still right linen decrease so i turn the stitches to knit them together and another three yarn over knit two Roll one. Row number. So again, I skipped the wrong row, wrong side row. I mean, I've knitted, but I I'm not showing it to you because you know how to knit it already. So the nine row number nineteen is one, two, three knit stitches to begin the pattern. Then a yarn over. Then another three and left linen decrease. So knit stitches as they are. And then knit five. One, two, three, four, five. And the pearl one. Okay. All right, so now is row number 21. Is we begin by knitting four first knit stitches. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-
one, two, three, four, a yarn over, and then one, two, three knit stitches, and then two together left, and another four, one, two, three, four, and conclude with the purl stitch. Okay. All right, so let's knit the right side row together. Knit one, all purl stitches. Oops. And what did I do here? Ay, ay, ay. So let's fix that. No, don't rush when it happens to you. Okay, just hold each you know loop in place to repeat the the stitch that you need previously but you lost it okay so and then the final round or row is five knit stitches one two three four five yarn over knit three two three two together left and knit three and the purl stitch and that is it for this pattern so as you can see it looks very nice in any color and um, and so when you repeat the pattern in height, you will simply start with row one and work your way up for the length required for your top. Uh, the only thing, for example, about this top is that there are six patterns here and six for the back and 12 patterns in total. Um, but this and because of the of the uh, gauge this top is knit for size medium small and if you need a like larger top teeny weeny bit larger then you would simply add some knit stitches here because it's otherwise it's going to be too complicated to um, decrease the stitches along the neckline and the and the underarm also okay so by adding by incorporating for example eight stitches on this side and eight stitches on the other one you would be able to widen the top and without you know extra calculation of how to decrease the stitches you would just simply um, cast off knit stitches and then move on to the the pattern that follows all right well thank you for watching and uh um, this video and for I'll probably make another video showing you how exactly to decrease the stitches to create neckline and underarm using this pattern. Alright, thank you for watching and have a great day.